Hasidim Spoiler Division. Shalom. I would like to introduce ourselves in the first place. We have the gear for Hasidim Spoiler Division. Ms. Anupi James, IFS. Then we have uh, Ivanala Mori, who is the range officer of uh, Lumne Rupa, and myself, Idunai, the ACF of Hasil Spala Division. At the onset, I would like to say a few things about the Wildlife Week. Wildlife Week had started in the year 1952 and it has always been organized in the first week of October every year. Uh, this year, because of the pandemic, uh, we had to face many hurdles and whatever we used to, competitions that we, we used to carry out in the previous years, we, we were not able to do it this year. So most of the competitions were held online and uh, some of the competitions were drawing and painting cat uh, competitions in the various categories, school level and so on and so forth. There were also uh, the, the essay competitions which was held in various categories and uh, the quiz. So what we would like to discuss today is about the quiz competition. We will bring forth the answers to you. Many of you have done well and we will discuss the answers one by one. So I, without wasting any of your time, I would like to come up with the first question. The first question for the quiz was, name the giant squirrel found in Meghalaya. And the options given were the Malayan giant squirrel, the giant flying squirrel, the Himalayan hori-bellied squirrel, and the Himalayan orange-bellied squirrel. The answer to the question is Himalayan giant squirrel and 70.5% got the answer correct. Coming to the discussion part, the Malayan giant squirrel is a giant squirrel species found in Meghalaya. It is found north of Ganges in Nepal, Sikkim, Bhutan and northeast India and ranges eastwards into Myanmar and the Malay countries. They have a brilliant coloration. The giant flying squirrel has got two races. One is a large dog flying squirrel. It is found south of Ganges into the peninsular India and the red flying squirrel it is found in western Himalayas. The orange belly Himalayan squirrel is found in the higher reaches of the eastern Himalayas from Nepal above an altitude of 1500 MSL while hori belly squirrel occupies the lower reaches of Sikkim. Okay, we go to the second question now. And the second question is related to question number 12. So we will discuss this uh, side by side. And the question number two was, what is a male tuskless elephant called? That means a, a male without tusk, a tuskless elephant called. And the options given were, Manjuria, Makna, Matriad, and Rogue. I will also go to the question number 12 because it's somewhat related. So, the male group, in the question number 12, the male group of elephants are called one Makna, Two, Manjurias, three, Metria, and four, Tusker. These, both the questions are related, almost having the same subject, so the discussion will be held uh, simultaneously. The answer to the question number two, that is, a tuskless elephant is called Makna, and 78.3% got the answer correct. And as far as related, we will discuss simultaneously with question number 12. And the answer to question number 12, group of elephants is called
all manjurias and 41.9% got the answer correct. Now coming to the discussion part of all the questions, let me give you some of the interesting facts of the elephant family. The elephant family is led by the elder female elephant and it, uh, she is called the matriarch who is the head of the elephant family. The females born remain in the family but the males when they become adults have to leave the family. They may temporarily form bachelor groups called Maljurias, which was a question. Then the options, Tusker, it is a male elephant with a well-developed tusk and mostly they are solitary. Female Asian elephants doesn't have a tusk unlike its African counterparts. African elephants have tusk. Some male and female elephants have tushes which are just one or two inches from the lip line. Rock is a term which is used for a vicious elephant that separates from the herd and roams a lot. Musk is a periodic condition in the bull that is a male elephant characterized by highly aggressive behavior and accompanied by large rise in reproductive hormones. During this period, they become highly violent towards human and other elephants. So th these are some of the facts connected to the elephants and the elephant family. We go to the next question immediately. Question number three. The question was, the tail of the great pipe hornbill is number one, black with white stripes, number two, fully white with black stripe, number three, fully white, and number four, fully white with black spots. 58.9% got the answer correct. The answer to this question is fully white with black stripes. Now coming to the discussion part of this question, the great hornbill is one of the larger members of the hornbill family and it is found in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. This bird is predominantly frugivorous, that, that is it eats fruits and the tail of the great pied hornbill is fully white with black stripes. Okay, the next question, question number four. Which one of these snakes eat other snakes and the options given were viper, crate, vine snake and king cobra. The answer to this question is the king cobra and 72.4% got the answer correct. Coming to the discussion part of this question, the king cobra is a venomous snake species in the family Elapidae endemic to the forest from India through Southeast Asia. It preys chiefly on other snakes and occasionally on some other vertebrates such as lizards and rodents. The next question number five. Name the biggest deer species found in Meghalaya. And the options given were hog, that is hog deer, sero, samba and the barking, barking deer. A deer that is very common in our region and 72.1% got the answer correct and the answer is Sambar deer. Coming to the discussion part, yes, Sambar is the largest uh, deer species found in Meghalaya, not only Meghalaya, it's the largest Indian deer species. They prefer to live in the forested areas. The hog deer is smaller and stouter and prefer grassland habitats. Bark India is small in size and is widespread in our state and they prefer thickly wooded hills. The call from a distance sounds like the bark of the dog, hence its name uh, called Bark India. And Cero, Cero actually is not a deer species, it's an antelope. They belong to the category of bog antelopes and they are found in the wooded hill forest. And uh, I will give some of the differences between antelopes and deer to make it more clear. Male deer have antlers which they shed and grow every year while antelopes have horns that are permanent. Another difference is that in deer the antlers are branched and antelopes horns are not. Antelopes belong to the family Bovidae while the deer belong to the family, family Cervidae. The next question number 6 is again related to question number 11. So we will be reading out simultaneously. Question number six states, which is the state bird of Meghalaya? And the options given were 
Common Miner, Drake Indian Fondle, Hill Miner, Crested Serpent Eagle. Whereas in the question number 11, it is similar. Which of these birds mimic sounds? And the options given were Miner, Eagle, Hawk, and Harrier. The answer to the question number six and seven, as Sarah said, is related. The answer to question number six is the hill miner, and 83.7% got the answer correct, which shows that we are all familiar with our state bird. Yes, of course, miner, they are very observant, very near to human, and yes, they mimic us. And the answer to, 11, to the question number 11 is miner. Coming to the discussion point, I will give some more details about our state bird. The hill miner is a member of the starling family and it is resident in the hill regions of South Asia and Southeast Asia. The common hill miner is a popular talking bird. The hill miner with this bright orange yellow patch of naked skin and fleshy wattles on both sides of his head and neck is about 29 cm in length and it is somewhat larger than the common miner. The common miner is often detected by its loud, shrill, descending whistles followed by other calls. It is most vocal at dawn and dusk when it is found in small groups in forest clearings high in canopy. The hill miners are popular cage birds, renowned for their ability to imitate speech. They are found in illegal pet trade. So, it's a request to all of you to watch on this. Because these, our state bird, the popular hill miner, are also a subject to illegal pet trade. We go to the next question, question number seven. Which is the state animal of Meghalaya? And the, and the options given were hollow gibbon, elephant, snow leopard, and clouded leopard. The hint to the answer is an animal belonging to the cat family. Yes, 87.6% got the answer correct, which shows that we all are very familiar with our state animal, and the answer is a clouded leopard. In the discussion part, I will draw some more lights on our state animal. The clouded leopard is a medium-sized wildcat, operating from the Himalayan foothills through mainland South, Southeast Asia and into southern China. The clouded leopard's fur is dark, gray or orchis brown color and have, it has got a blotch pattern. These blotches yielding the clouded pattern and from it it gets its name the clouded leopard. It has rather short limbs compared to the other big cats. The clouded leopard is a solitary cat. It is a, a rare, secretive, arboreal and a nocturnal inhabitant of the best primary forest. It is one of the most talented climbers among the cats. By balancing on thin branches, they use their long tails to balance. They are threatened by habitat loss, followed by large-scale deforestation and commercial poaching for wildlife trade. Go to the next question, question number eight. And the question says, which of these are water birds? And the options given are drongo, bittern, bulbul, and hawk. The answer to this is bitten and 65.9% got the answer correct. Coming to the discussion part, bitterns uh, belong to the heron family. They are short necked and they are more secretive than the other members of the family. They are nocturnal or crepuscular and they feed on insects, fish and small amphibians and, we, and can be seen in the reed areas. The next question, question number nine. Which is the color of an adult male hollow gibbon? And the options given were gray, black, brown, black with white underparts. It is an animal which is very close and very social. It is also the only ape species found in India. And 69.8% who attempted the question got the answer correct. And the answer is black color. Yes. Coming to the discussion part, Hulo Gibbon is the only ape found in India. It has a distinctive build of an ape. Arms are much longer than the legs and it has got a tailless body. 
Males and young females are black. On reaching maturity between the age of 5 or 6, the females got fades to yellowish grey. A newly born pullock is covered with yellow tinted greyish white hair. In India, they are restricted to the northeast. They live in the hill forest and they live in family groups. Coming to the next question, question number 10. Which of these are nocturnal? And the options were bats, minas, vultures and cuckoos. So the answer is very easy. As we all know that bats are nocturnal animals and 87.6% got the answer correct that is bats. Coming to the discussion part. Yes, bats are the only nocturnal species among the four mentioned. And they are the only mammals with wings and which can really fly. They have become quite notorious uh, during the COVID times. But silently, they do much help in pollinating many species of plants. Meghalaya is having a large variety of bat species. The next question, question number 11 and 12, we have already discussed it earlier since it was related to the earlier questions. So we move on to question 13. Question 13 says, which snake among the four, which snake is a constrictor? We have the king cobra, the viper, the Burmese python and the bamboo pit viper. 82.2% got the answer correct. From its size, we can guess that the answer is the Burmese python. Coming to the discussion part, the Burmese python is the fourth largest snake as measured either by length or weight. It is a native to large area of Southeast Asia. In wild, Burmese python typically, grow, typically grows up to 5 meters in length. We also have the Indian rock python in our stage. It is generally light colored than the Burmese python and reaches usually a length of about 3 meters. Actually, these pythons are excellent swimmers and need a permanent source of water. They live in grasslands, marshes, swamps, rocky foothills, woodlands, river valleys and jungles with open clearings. It is a good climber and has a prehensile tail. They are carnivorous. Its diet primarily consists of appropriately sized birds and mammals. The snake uses a sharp pointed teeth to siege its prey, then wraps its body around the prey and at the same time contracting its muscles, thus killing the prey by constriction. All the other three the options are venomous, venomous and immobilize and kill the prey using the venom, the king cobra, the viper and the bamboo pit viper. And all the three are also found in Meghalaya. We go to the next question, question number 14. And the question says, which is the biggest lizard found in Meghalaya? And the, uh, and the answers uh, given were, the options given were, Toki Gecko, Spiny Lizard, Water Monitor Lizard, and Bengal Monitor Lizard. 50% got the answer correct. And the answer is the Bengal Monitor Lizard. Coming to the discussion part, the Bengal monitor or the common Indian monitor is a monitor lizard found widely distributed over the Indian subcontinent as well as in parts of Southeast Asia and West Asia. This is a large lizard, it's mainly terrestrial and its length can reach from about 61 to 175 cm from tip of the snout to the end of the tail. Young monitors may be more arboreal, but adults may hunt on the ground. Spiny lizards is endemic to the North America and the Central Americas. The Asian water monitor is also called common water monitor. It's a large lizard native to South and Southeast Asia, which is found in Meghalaya also. Toke gecko is a species which occur in Northeast India, Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, throughout Southeast Asia. The Toke gecko is a large gecko reaching a length up to 50 cm. The male's mating call is a loud croak and is variously described as sounding tok, token, gek, gek, poke, from which both the common and the scientific name, as well as the family Gekkonidae and the generic term gecko comes. So its name comes from it basically from its call. And this species is also heavily traded and it's also a victim of wildlife trade. 
The next question number 15. Which of these might uh, these migratory birds, which of these migratory birds visit Meghalaya? We have the greater flamingo, Amur falcon, Arctic tern, and the lesser fl flamingo. Yes, we all know this bird, and 100% got the answer correct, which is the Amur falcon. Yes, coming to the discussion part, Amur falcon is a small raptor of the falcon family. It breeds in the southeastern Siberia and northern China before migrating in large flocks across India and over the Arabian Sea to winter in the south southern Africa. They travel a distance of about 22,000 kilometers during their long migratory journey. They stop over in northeast India, including Meghalaya, during the October to November every year and keep a watch on our visitors as they are soon scheduled to reach our state. The next question, 16. All these bear species are found in Meghalaya except for and from the options we have Asiatic black bear, grizzly bear, sloth bear and Malayan sun bear. Yes, Meghalaya is rich in fauna diversity in which it is a home to many bear species. And the answer to that question, in which only one bear species which is not found in Meghalaya, is the grizzly bear. And 70.3% got the answer correct. Coming to the discussion part of this question, the black bears, sloth bears, Malayan bear are forest dwellers. The Asiatic black bear is a medium-sized bear species native to Asia that is largely adapted to arboreal lifestyle. The Asiatic black bear is black, has a light brown muzzle and a distinct white patch on the chest, which has sometimes a V-shape. The sloth bear, with its elongated muscle and lower lip, long, unkept hair, short hind legs, legs is the most unclothed of all the bears. Malayan sun bear is the smallest of the bears. It is jet black with a pale patch on the chest with variable pattern. Coming to the grizzly bears, it is, uh, it is a large population of the subspecies of the brown bears and it inhabits the North American continent. The next question, question number 17 is, which is the private species found in the Meghalaya? And the options given were slender lotus, lion-tailed macaque, slow lotus and the cloud leopard. 54.3% got the answer correct and the answer is slow lotus. Coming to the discussion part, the slender loris is like the slow loris, but it is more lean and lanky in appearance, and they are found in southern India and Sri Lanka. The lanky maka is also found only in the western guts. Clouded leopard is found in Meghalaya, but it belongs to the family Felidae, not Primates. The next question number 18. Which is the famous upstream migrant in Meghalaya? The options given were freshwater eel, salmon, hilsa, and the chocolate marshier. Here we are talking about aquatic diversity, and the answer to the question is the chocolate marshier, of which 53.5% got the answer correct. So I will give some more description on the marshier species. They inhabit both the rivers and lakes, and most of the species is believed to ascend into rapid streams with rocky bottoms for breeding. And salmons are uh, native to, uh, to the tributaries of northern Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. We come to question 19 now, and all of these are important bird areas, IBAs, of Meghalaya except for one. So the options given were Nokrek, Balpakram, Upper Shalom and Dauki. Of the options mentioned, 68.8% got the answer correct and the correct answer is Dauki. Coming more on the discussion part, an important bird and biodiversity area that is IBA was developed and the sites were identified by the BirdLife International. Currently, there are over 
thousand IBAs worldwide. According to BirdLife International, the designation of IBAs is based on certain standardized criteria, namely, first, hold significant number of one or more globally threatened bird species, two, be one of a set of sites that together hold a suite of restricted range species or bio-restricted species, third criteria, have exceptionally large number of migratory or congregatory birds. The IBAs contain a range of habitats such as the wetlands, mud flats, microhabitats in biodiversity hotspots, grasslands, and scrublands, making them excellent indicators of biodiversity richness. 40% of these IBAs fall outside the protected area network and thus forms an important tool for la landscape level conservation planning. Coming to the IBAs in Meghalaya, in Meghalaya we have the nine designated IBAs. These are the Balpakan Complex and Nokrek National Park in the Garo Hills, Chirakuchi Cliff Gorges and Sacred Groves, Marfland Sacred Grove, Nongkila Wildlife Sanctuary, Riyadh Prawan, Umiyak Lake and Upper Shillong in Kasi Hills and the Narco Wildlife Sanctuary and Saibun in Jandia Hills. Coming to the last question, uh, for the competition that was held. The last question was, these are the butterflies found in Meghalaya except for four options were given and among the four options, common birdwing, goliath birdwing, jungle glory and common mormon. The answer to the last question is the goliath birdwing and 60% opted for the right answer. Coming to the discussion part of the last question, I will show, uh, throw some lights on the butterflies. So the Goliath birdwing is a birdwing butterfly found in New Guinea. It is the second largest butterfly in the world after the Queen Alexandra's birdwing. This gentle glory and common mormon both are found in our state and it's also a common butterfly found in South Asia. Coming to the large common bird wing, it is a common butterfly with distinct, distinctive black and yellow wings, quite common to our state. It's one of the most beautiful butterflies and like many other living things in nature, bright colors are used not to attract people but to warn the predators. It is for their safety. In common bird wing, both the caterpillars and adults are toxic but with all these tricks and defense, common bird wing and many of the butterflies and animals most often face the biggest threat that is as humans. Profiters catch the butterfly in large numbers and make them into specimens for sale, forcing the species to near extinction. So this is a case for many other beautiful animals also. Now to conclude, I would like to thank uh, Pong Ivanila Mori, she is the range officer who did a very good job in preparing the statistics and the percentages of those who made up to the correct answers. And our madam, uh, Mrs. Anuki James, the IFS, DFO, Kasi Health Wildlife Division, for taking all the pain in um, to prepare the discussion for each and every answer. So with this, uh, from the, on behalf of the Cassians Wildlife Division, I thank you once again to all the participants. Thank you so much.